Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG. What I got for today, guys, is going to be the theme deck battle between the Charizard theme deck and the Blastoise theme deck. I know the Blastoise one's called like Torrential Cannon. I can't think of the Charizard name to save my life. But anyway, guys, these are the two theme decks from Team Up. And yeah, it's it's been a little overdue, I'll be honest with you. Uh, normally, I was on the ball with these. Whenever they first came out, I would get them and then, you know, the game would go up. But anyway, yeah, money's tight. You know, that's, that's how it happens. But anyway, we're here today. We finally have it. And I got to tell you guys, this actually showcased pretty much what these decks can do. And honestly, I feel like this game went how I expected it to. So as you can tell, I am piloting the Blastoise theme deck, and I opened with a couple Squirtle, and I cynthia myself into a worse hand than the one I had before, in my opinion. But I'm able to pull out a couple Nest Ball here, and I decided to go for a Psyduck and a Pidgey here, and I have two Squirtle, and next turn I can just retreat my Squirtle and bring up a Farfetch, so that, you know, the cool thing is I do have that Pokemon Fan Club in my hand. Uh, my opponent also starts with a Nidoran female and a Farfetch of his own along with a Howl. I gotta tell you guys, I really like Farfetch. I think Farfetch is a cool card. I mean, it can hit for 90 damage if your opponent's Pokemon has a tool on it. Uh, the Collect Attack is really, really good for theme decks here. But, yeah, I, I honestly, I feel like this game, like how I would expect, you know, this matchup to go. Uh, basically, you know, Charizard is weak to water, and Blastoise hits for a lot of damage and has some pretty insane, you know, energy acceleration and doesn't have to discard its energy whenever, you know, it, it does attack. Whereas Charizard, you know, you discard energy and as the game progresses, because really the only thing you have in the deck is Brock's Grit. I guess since it's a theme deck, you know, you don't have to worry about that too much. You don't have to discard as many energy, but I feel like, you know, in an actual game, you will run out of energy pretty quickly. And... To be honest with you guys, like, yes, you do damage yourself with Blastoise, but at the same time, you're one-shotting. And, you know, as long as you're able to get multiple attackers set up, then you can pretty much handle the Charizard. Because you can not only set up one Blastoise, but you can also set up something like a Golduck. And Golduck has Amnesia, which is really good. So, basically, you can hit your opponent's Charizard and get rid of their attack. And, the, you know, it only has one attack on it. So, that'll kind of leave them a little bit of a bind. But the cool thing about the Charizard deck, though, is, you know, you can pull energy straight from the deck, attack for a, a massive amount of damage, and then you have the Needle Queen in there that can allow you to search Pokemon. Uh, Rapid Dash is actually a pretty good attacker if you can hit heads on agility, so that's pretty good there. But, and I, you know, the Blastoise deck, I feel like, has a lot of really cool things going for it. It also has Pidgeotto in the deck, which is really, really nice. I really like Pidgeotto. And basically, this turn, I just kind of completely set up here. Uh, I get a War Turtle down, I get a Golduck down, I get a Pidgeotto down, so I can start using, like, a little better version of an Acro Bike every turn. I get to look at the top two, pick one, and then the other one goes on the bottom. So right here, I'm going to grab myself another Water Energy. So yeah, I feel like the Blastoise deck, you can just really power up multiple attackers in one turn. And Golduck and Blastoise can both one-shot Charizard. So immediately, yes, you're going to be, you know, in an advantage. And you guys will actually see later on, my opponent does indeed bring up Neo Queen to kind of, you know, counteract the, resi or the weakness. But I had a Professor Kukui in my hand, so, you know, that kind of handles that there. But yeah, I feel like this matchup pretty much just kind of went how I would expect it to, you know. Uh, but honestly, I like both theme decks. I think that actually you can build really good decks with both of them. You know, you throw in a couple energy recycler for Charizard. You know, you get like a Victini Prism Star. You get, I think it's Heat Factory or something like that. You can definitely get some stuff in the Charizard deck to make it very, very viable. And of course, the number one card you need in both of these theme decks is going to be Rare Candy. So right here, I'm going to use Pidgeotto's ability, get myself a Timer Ball to hopefully set up a little bit here, get some more stuff out on the field. And I luck out and get it heads at least. So, you know, hey, I'll take it. And right here, I was actually kind of considering, do I want to try to go for like a more set up field or do I want to try to, you know, get Blastoise out? What do I want to do? So I actually decided to opt for a Pidgeotto because right now it doesn't look like my opponent is really doing much of anything. So if I can kind of set my field up and that way I can use two Pidgeotto a turn, basically, I just get two Acro Bike every single turn then that means, you know, I can just kind of set my field up a little bit. And I actually luck out and I hit a Blastoise, which is really huge. So now I have my first Blastoise out on the field, so I can start using this ability to get myself some energy acceleration. And I hit three right off the bat, so I can throw two energy on my Blastoise, and I believe I throw the other energy on the Golduck. Yep. So that means, you know, now I get some attackers going. I have, you know, energy acceleration, double acro bike-like ability, uh, collect going. So, you know, my, my field's pretty set up. My opponent, unfortunately, doesn't have the best field as of yet. But once he starts getting Needle Queens out, he can basically just search for any two Pokemon every single turn and get those straight to his hand to kind of set his field up a little bit. But in all honesty, I think that both theme decks can actually make, uh, you know, pretty viable, fun decks to play in the Pokemon TCG. Um, the Charizard deck I actually faced off against it at a League Challenge not too long ago, and it proved to be a very, very viable option. 
and I'm actually working on a list. Uh, kind of in my head. I haven't built it yet, but I am working on a list in my head for Blastoise. I feel like that deck would be really fun to play as well. And yeah, I just think that's really cool that both theme decks feature really popular Pokemon that can actually be uh, built and kind of adjusted to make, you know, compatible or compatible, compatible. That's not a word, Dylan. It's not a word. Competitive decks. I think I just combined competitive and edible because I'm fat into one word. But yeah, I, I like the idea of just like releasing two really good attackers that can actually, you know, somewhat work in the, you know, the actual meta. I don't think these decks are going to be taking games off of like Zorark. You know, hey, they can. But at the same time, you know, yes, Zorark and all of them might be a little more viable of an option. Uh, the tag teams and such, you know, might, might be a little too much for them. But at the same time, these are actually really good cards. Um, I don't know why I didn't take that third energy here. And it's, I think this is the one where I only take two. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't take both of them or all three there. I just decided, you know, hey, I'm just going to grab these two energy and I'm not going to just worry about the third one <laughs> but I decided to go on the offensive here I feel like I have two other attackers set up that I can easily just kind of counter counter attack my opponent's Pokemon if he does bring something up and knocks me out so I'm going to take the early prize lead five to six and I'm sitting on a pretty solid field right now and as always guys with theme decks you know these games are going to be a little bit on the slower side just because of the limitations you know as far as like I think you only have like two of every supporter in the deck and uh, you know you have like I think it's like you have two Timer Ball, two Nest Ball, two Cynthia, two Copycat, two Pokemon Fan Club, two Howl, two Kukui. So, I mean, yeah, you're, and then like a lot of clutter. So, yeah, you're obviously going to have some issues, you know, with your deck and such. Uh, as for those Pidgeots in my hand, if you're a fan of that card, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't ever play it down. I, I would, I just rather would have, you know, Pidgeotto out on the field just in case, you know, one of my Pokemon does go down. I'm able to just kind of, you know, uh, quote, acro bike twice and just kind of see what I can hit. Um I really, really cannot just stress how good Brock's Grit is in both of these theme decks. I feel like that is a fantastic card that really helps out both of these theme decks because not only can you get yourself an entire line of Charizard or Blastoise, you can also shuffle in three energy back into your deck, which is really beneficial for both of the abilities. So that's something really, really nice about the theme decks. I really like the direction that they're kind of taking. I made a video not too long ago talking about how I wish they would make the theme decks a little more compatible, a little better than the ones we've seen in previous, you know, sets and such because when you look at a lot of other uh, card games you got stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! basically we bought three of the starter decks you're good you got a, like a really good deck right there that eventually like i've seen some of them get hit on the ban list or so good and then as for dragon ball super i think you can also just make yourself like you could buy two starter decks and just kind of combine them and there's you know tutorial videos on youtube all kinds of stuff where you can just kind of figure out what would be the best options for your you know decks and such and you can make really competitive de or, yeah competitive decks there uh and i feel like in pokemon i really hope that they actually get to the point to where you know maybe they throw in two rare candy into the theme decks i feel like that is a card that really really needs to be in theme decks like jesus just like the stage two decks just really struggle because you're just trying to sit there and set up your main attacker that takes three turns and then you know when you're playing against other decks they can just you know guzma up your pokemon and knock it out so definitely definitely a huge issue there but I'm going to take another prize card. I knocked out his Ponyta. And now here comes Charizard. Charizard has officially hit the field. Charizard versus Blastoise. Ash versus Gary. The battle has started. And unfortunately, my Blastoise is a little damaged. So, you know, Charizard is about to, you know, wrap that up. No problem. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is I do have a Golduck and a Blastoise sitting on my bench. Uh, completely set up and ready to go. So I shouldn't have too many problems here. My opponent is going to use Needle Queen's ability to search out for another Charizard. So that means he's going to have two Charizard out on the field. So yeah, uh, both theme decks are kind of setting up, and we see a Fire Energy go down onto that Needle Queen. Like I said earlier in the video, he is using that Needle Queen to counteract the fact that Charizard, of course, is weak to water. And I'm basically hitting for 180 with Golduck and 300 with Blastoise. But we see he's going to use the ability to put 20 damage on, Bla on uh, Charizard, and you get to search out for, I think it's two Fire Energy and attach him. So yeah, unfortunately Blastoise is going down, hits me for 180 damage. And there we go, guys. Blastoise is unfortunately going to fall. But the cool thing is, as you guys see in my hand right now, I do have Brock's Grit. So that means I can shuffle that entire line of Blastoise back in my deck. And then I can also get those three energy. So there we go. Boom, 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 boom. We're good. There is six cards back in my deck that I just lost. Brock's Grit is such a great card for these decks. I absolutely love it. But I'm going to go ahead and use that ability. Get myself a War Turtle. I'm trying to set my field back up because I definitely need another attacker because I see my opponent has three potential threats and I only have two. So that's definitely not going to be good for me. 
Uh, let's see. What can I do here? What can I do? I, I'm really sitting here trying to figure out, like, do I want to try to go for the gold duck now? Or do I want to try to hold off? Like, what do I want to do? Uh, the cool thing is, is, like, as far as waiting goes, I, I can kind of hold off if, as long as I, you know, lead with gold duck. Because... I mean, Blastoise can get myself, or I could just get energy on the field with Blastoise, but the thing is, I don't have a Squirtle right now, and I don't know if I'm going to hit one next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the safe route, and I'm going to go ahead and bench uh, Psyduck there. So hopefully I can hit myself a Golduck later. Speaking of that, Golduck does do 180 damage to Charizard, which is actually pretty insane. I really like Golduck. I think it's a cool card, too. I actually featured... A video where I put two Blastoise theme decks together in one and that was a card that I featured and it was really really heavy on because I really like Gold Duck. I think it's a fantastic card. If you guys are interested in seeing that video make sure to stay tuned to the end card. You'll get to see that. But my opponent is going to use Needle Queen's ability again. A fantastic ability. Uh, I'm working on a video right now where I combine two Charizard theme decks and I'm, I'm really not going to put it in there just because I've tried playing the deck and just having two stage two Pokemon in your deck without any rare candy really hinders the deck i just it takes so long to set up and you know you're really like just kind of taking up space for other stuff like you can you know throw in like a couple other supporters and whatnot uh, but my opponent is going to play down that timer ball he is going to be hitting one head so you know hey he's able to get something he's going to grab that rapid dash that rapid dash is actually isn't you know it isn't too bad so yeah somehow my gold duck survived that turn which is kind of insane and i get a little upset because i draw into a squirtle there i, I thought more than likely my gold duck was going to go down that last turn so you know that's pretty unfortunate now the bad thing about pidgeotto's ability in this game is you know basically i'm trying i'm trying to hit certain cards that way you know whenever my gold duck goes down i can just play something down immediately and get that going uh, i am playing the brock's grit because i want to shuffle some water energy back into my deck whenever gold duck does eventually go down uh, the thing about that, though, is I'm basically giving my opponent a absolutely insane copycat coming up, and I knew that I was doing that, but at the same time, I kind of had to just because I really needed to hit certain cards just in case whenever my gold duck goes down, I'll, I'll be able to kind of like replenish my resources and such. But I'm going to go down to two prize cards. My opponent still has five, and he's going to bring up that Needle Queen, attach his third energy to us. That means, luckily, I have a Kakui in my hand. I have two exactly. But luckily that's in there, otherwise I would be in some trouble right now. So he's going to use Nino Queen's, I think, attacker ability right now. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm watching uh, the NFL Network. I'm checking out like free agency stuff because that, you know, that's going on today. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of that, man, I, I watched uh, Captain Marvel last night. Dad, dang, that movie was good. I really enjoyed that. That movie's getting a lot of hate. I personally really enjoyed it. I actually liked it a lot more than Black Panther. I don't know what it is. People praise Black Panther. I didn't like it too much. It was okay. Uh, people don't like Captain Marvel. I loved Captain Marvel. So, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, my gold duck is going to unfortunately go down. I just kind of straight off completely there. But anyway, so I'm going to bring up Blastoise. Now, the cool thing is, is I do have Squirtle in my hand. Now, I can hopefully hit some energy here with Blastoise's ability. You know, I, I, I'm just... I'm in a weird spot right now. So, you know, if my... Blastoise goes down next turn. Uh, kind of like my idea of what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Golduck, use Amnesia to basically kind of remove Charizard's attacks. That way, hopefully, I can buy myself a turn. I do grab a Blastoise off of Pidgeotto's ability, which is really nice. So that means I'm able to hopefully just kind of buy myself some time and get that set up. And I hit three energy off of my Blastoise's ability, which is super nice. Oh, I hit four, actually. I hit four. So that means I have two attackers set completely back up already, basically. I'm going to play the Kukui, which means I'm able to hit this Needle Queen for 170 damage, take that thing completely out of the game. Guys, I feel like, honestly, both of these theme decks can make good decks, but at the same time, I feel like if you're going for like the better theme deck, I think the Blastoise one definitely takes the cake for this matchup. I feel like it is definitely the better of the two, just because there's like more playable cards in it. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see there, my opponent is going to concede the game. So Blastoise does take the victory. The Torrential Cannon theme deck takes the victory in this matchup. And hopefully I'm able to get some more Blastoise theme deck gameplays for you guys in the future because I actually really do enjoy this theme deck. And if you guys want to see some more theme deck stuff on my channel, I am more than happy. More than happy to do it. A thousand damage with a theme deck. You love to see those numbers. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I wanted to upload this today because I just got this gameplay and I was super excited. Love you guys. This is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.